Gold Stream, and this is a chum salmon. The return this year is one third of what it should be. These fish, like many others I'm seeing around the province, are yellow. Yellow is the color that Piscine orthorheovirus turns some Pacific salmon, and we don't know if that's what the problem with these fish are, but I'm very concerned because I'm seeing yellow salmon all over this coast. And yellow is just not a normal color for Pacific salmon. I'm taking virus samples, but also histology samples, so we can see if the typical damage of Piscine rheovirus is, is here in this fish. This fish is exactly what I'm looking for. His liver is pale, his spleen is enlarged, his gills are pale, his heart is pale, and this white attachment on the heart is slightly yellow. We know that Piscine rheovirus turns Chinook salmon yellow. That's the only Pacific salmon we really know about. We don't know about what it does to chum salmon or pink salmon or coho or sockeye. And this year, 2019, is the lowest return of wild salmon in the history of this country. And I'm looking at yellow salmon all along Vancouver Island in the Fraser River. Piscine rheovirus is from the Atlantic Ocean. There's if these fish are dying of Piscine rheovirus in all of these rivers, we have a huge problem, and it's because of the salmon farms. But we don't know that yet, and that's why I'm doing this work. And you just gotta go into the rivers and take the samples and just keep doing it. And I'm just the field end of it, and then I'm gonna pass this on to the lab. We don't know what it means, but it does worry me a lot.